Hello, this presentation provides an update since December 2018 when the government awarded £196 million for investment in healthcare across Calderdale and Huddersfield. This is the single biggest funding allocation for local healthcare in Calderdale and Huddersfield for years and a real opportunity to improve health services for everyone in Calderdale, Huddersfield and West Yorkshire for generations to come. The West Yorkshire and Harrogate Health and Care Partnership has confirmed that the planned service and estate developments fit with the overall strategy for better health and care services for West Yorkshire and Harrogate as a whole and will support the longer-term resilience of services across West Yorkshire. As well as the extra money, this investment offers a wider opportunity, which extends far beyond bricks and mortar and shiny new buildings. For example, jobs and local prosperity. It will be a real boost for local construction and associated trades. It will enable us to be an even better greener neighbour and help us to reduce carbon use and emissions. We will be able to future-proof the long-term local provision of healthcare services. With our partners, we will be able to achieve better population health outcomes and reduce inequalities for people. This will enable a better experience and recovery for people that, for example, have cancer, have a stroke or have respiratory disease. The developments will also help us to attract and retain skilled healthcare professionals to work in Calderdale and Huddersfield. Whilst the investment is exciting, we cannot escape that the Covid pandemic has had an impact on every person in our local communities and changed the society we live in. Sadly, too many people have died of Covid, affecting so many local families forever. More than 2,000 patients with Covid have been treated and discharged from our hospitals, but we know some people continue to experience long-term health impacts. There has been a disproportionate impact on black, Asian and minority ethnic communities, widening health inequalities. Business closures, job losses and impacts on education will continue to have long-term effect. We see these development plans as a key part of the recovery from the pandemic. We will work with our local authority partners and the business community to boost our local economies and help contribute to longer-term recovery. Kirklees Council has ambitious plans for supporting and accelerating economic recovery through investment in both their Huddersfield and Dewsbury blueprints. This hospital and community investment should work in tandem with these established programmes to tackle inclusivity and create employment opportunities for all. This investment will support Kirklees' ambitions for regeneration, enabling new jobs and skills development in construction and associated trades, apprenticeships for younger people and opportunities for skills development in digital technology. We are very keen to work with the University of Huddersfield in maximising these economic opportunities and together the combination of our plans will reduce the overall local carbon footprint, supporting Kirklees to become a greener place. In this modern day and age, it is so easy to forget that Harold Wilson opened the Huddersfield Royal Infirmary site in the 1960s. That is 60 years ago and we know that healthcare delivery and technology has vastly changed since then. We now have the opportunity to secure HRI for the long term with a minimum investment of £30 million on much needed improvements to the buildings and internal infrastructure. A new and larger A&E department will be provided on South Drive and will include state-of-the-art facilities for patient care in a fabulous modern setting. Due to the pandemic, we have learned the value of creating separate COVID and non-COVID areas, and this separation will be built into the new design to ensure we can stay open in all circumstances. The design will better meet the needs of people with mental illness that attend A&E, and also the needs of children and young people. Doctors, nurses and therapist colleagues are all very keen to see these changes. For them, trying to save lives through this pandemic has really brought home the need for these estate improvements. Calderdale Council has ambitious plans to be a growing economy which reduces inequalities and builds a sustainable future for all. The Council's exciting development plans include investment in flood defences, transport infrastructure, education facilities, state-of-the-art bus and rail centres, and other town centre developments. 
Through this investment, we can contribute to recovery to get better social value from our spending and recruitment that will support towns, villages and communities to thrive in Calderdale. These plans will reduce the carbon footprint supporting Calderdale to be greener. Our construction partners will offer work placements, apprentice roles and support educational activities with schools and colleges. At CRH, these plans will result in an expansion of hospital facilities and the provision of a new patient and staff car park which will be designed with environmental sustainability in mind. Covid has really taught us that the co-location of acute inpatient services is essential to improving patient care. Our plans will provide greater resilience and enable us to maintain provision of care into the future. The plans include more single rooms and spaces to enable infection control. Equally important is that the build developments will reduce carbon use and emissions and help Calderdale to be a greener place. We are working with the IBI Group, who are award-winning architects with a wealth of experience in healthcare design. This includes one of the most digitally advanced hospitals at Chase Farm in North London, an environmentally sensitive development at Cockermouth Community Hospital in the Lake District. More locally, you may have visited Kirkwood Hospice and seen its pool and private garden areas for every room around the central care hub. This was a transformational and sensitive project designed by the IBI Group. As we are experiencing right now, care should not be about very long stays in hospital. The risk of infection is ever-present. Increasingly, hospitals are providing treatments as day cases. Many services, such as specialist nursing, which were once provided only in a hospital, can now be delivered in the local community and in people's homes. We have no plan to reduce the services and beds across our two hospitals. The numbers will still total around 800. The pandemic and the exciting potential of technology has accelerated implementation of options that mean many people can now more conveniently access the care and support they need closer to home. Alongside primary care, Locala and other partners, this means our doctors and nurses can also reach out and offer more support to nursing and care home staff as we have during the pandemic. CHFT is one of the most digitally advanced trusts in the UK. This is one of the most exciting possibilities for the new plans, not just in terms of healthcare, but also with regard to higher education and associated job creation. We are, and have been for a long time, at the very forefront of technological developments, to the point where the Microsoft Global CEO has positively referenced our use of technology to provide care for patients with epilepsy. Together with our local authority and other system partners, technology will be a very central part of the fabric of our two new hospitals and the services provided to people at home or other care locations. In championing such transformation, we are clear about the need to avoid digital exclusion. Therefore, whether we develop straightforward apps that may assist patients and their families to find their way around, or at the more advanced end, use of artificial intelligence to assist clinical decision making. We will make sure that this does not digitally exclude people or increase health inequalities. Going green is a given for us all across Calderdale and Kirklees and we are keen to use this development to help both local authorities to go further and faster in terms of their place-based plans for the environment. We know the significant investments that are being made into the road infrastructure across Calderdale and Kirklees will reduce congestion, make public transport options more attractive and support alternate methods of travel such as cycleways. Our focus will be on sustainable travel and a reduction of unnecessary care miles through a range of actions. Where vehicle use is essential, the developments will provide on-site safe parking facilities with electric charging points, as well as being ready for other technologies such as hydrogen fuel cells if they emerge and are sustainable. Our proposed timeline means that, subject to approval of planning applications, we will start building the new A&E at Huddersfield Royal Infirmary later this year in 2021. Next year, we will start building the new car park at Calderdale Royal Hospital, with sustainability being a constant backdrop to our design and implementation. 
In 2023, the new A&E at Huddersfield Royal Infirmary and the car park at Calderdale Royal Hospital will be completed and we will start building the hospital expansion. All developments will be completed by 2025. Many people have already attended meetings and been involved in engagement events this year and last. In March, members of the public were invited to provide feedback to inform our planning applications and this has been collated in a statement of community involvement. We will ensure there is a continuous process of involving local people, colleagues and stakeholders about the developments as they progress. We want to support building back community resilience and recovery. We all need hope and ambition for the future and this investment is part of building confidence for a brighter future. We think these are ambitious plans that will create positive transformational change for our communities to improve the health and well-being of everyone in Calderdale and Kirklees. We are committed to leading the economic recovery from the pandemic and schemes such as this one will play a vital role. And finally, I will leave the last words with colleagues here at CHFT who have been heavily involved in all our planning and are ready for the next stages and, after this presentation, we hope you will be too.